Hi, my name is Maher Lewis, and uh, I'm going to be talking about the different surfaces and where they come from, and the reliability, um, how exact location and how um, accurate the data. And uh, we're going to start out by opening up AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010. And, uh, and I can show you right away exactly what I'm talking about. So here's uh, Civil 3D uh, 2010, and uh, uh, this this drawing is called the uh, the the surface uh, X surface, and I have uh, several surfaces. Um, one of which is called Area Two, which is from a uh, it was it was flown by a company called Geodetic uh, Aerial Services, and they they flew the uh, railroad corridor, um, which which it, which was recently purchased by VTA uh, in an in an agreement with uh, UPRR to relocate their tracks off the purchase uh, of their of of the land. So UPRR. Uh, owns the railroad corridor and sold the a portion of their railroad corridor to VTA. In any case, the the surface which was flown by the uh, aerial topography company called Geodetic uh, is called Area Two. And then what I did was I uh, I went into Google Earth and I brought in the uh, the surface from there. And then I also went and zoomed into a, a particular area to see if the accuracy or if the exact surface would change, and it did. Uh, if I zoom in, okay. So here, here is uh, a, a. It's very difficult to see, but there's this surface here, okay, which is the uh, Google Earth surface, which uh, I call Google Earth surface. Uh, the other one is called the area two, which is this one right here. Okay, and then the test surface, which is this little guy right there. And I'm zooming into a creek. And uh, if you want to see, I can I could probably uh, uh, turn off these guys here. No display. No display. Okay, and then I'll make this more visible. Okay, so you can see that in this area there's a severe grade change right here, and that's because there's a creek. Okay, and the elevation in the middle of the creek it says there 57.3. Three six. I'm gonna put a point. Uh, okay. So now there's a point. And you can see it right there. Again, that point uh, is just for you know location. And here, here is the elevations of the surface at that point using. Uh, the other su other surfaces. So test Google Earth is 65.402. The Google Earth surface is 65.028. And then here's area two, which is that area that was flown. It's 57. That's more than nine uh, eight feet difference at this point. You see. So Google Earth is not exact. I mean, it's very good, you know, but it, it basically averages out the surface elevation. So if you go in like an area right here, um, here you can see Google Earth surface is 65.76, and then area two, which is the flown surface, is 64.1. And the difference in elevation is, you know, more than a foot. Over here. Again, more than a foot. Now I'm probably outside. No, I'm still a sampler. More than two feet. 
So that concludes this demonstration of the difference between Google Earth and Aerial uh, Topo provided by an Aerial Topo company, survey company, and then of course a test area. Uh, when I zoomed into Google Earth, uh, the, the elevation difference is, uh, you know, it's, a, it's visible. Okay, and here's another example of the difference in elevation. All right, that concludes this demonstration. Thank you.